Parliamentarians? Points of order? What are they, and why do they matter? When following the Texas legislature, you may occasionally hear someone mention the parliamentarian. Who is this person, and how do they have so much influence over the process? First, the legislature operates under a standard set of rules and procedures that have been developed and refined over the course of centuries. These operating protocols are called parliamentary procedure, which comes from the early days of the British Parliament and the rules they used to govern their operations. You may have heard of Robert's Rules of Order, which serves as the consensus comprehensive guide for parliamentary procedure for things like when a motion may be made and what actions require supermajority votes. These rules ensure fairness, decorum, and equal representation. In virtually every legislative body, only one subject may be considered at a time. Members can't talk over one another or engage in personal attacks, and all members have a chance to influence the process by making motions, giving speeches, and voting. In theory, parliamentarians are like a referee. They must know and understand historical precedents when the rules are unclear, and otherwise advise and counsel the presiding officer. In Texas, parliamentarians are not elected. Rather, they are hired by the Speaker of the House and the Lieutenant Governor for their respective chambers. In both chambers, the parliamentarian is just an advisor. The parliamentarian never speaks publicly, nor makes any rulings themselves. Instead, the final decision on any question regarding the rules is made by the Speaker or the Lieutenant Governor. In practice, though, the Speaker and the Lieutenant Governor seldom ever override the parliamentarian's advice. The parliamentarian often helps the presiding officer explain the rules to a member who inquires about them. Behind the scenes, they may also help members draft proper motions that are in order, in other words, within the rules, but their work is most notable when they are called upon to draft a ruling on a point of order raised by a member. A member raises a point of order to assert that the rules have not been followed. In other words, they speak up when they believe the body is taking an action that is out of order. When they do, they must state the specific rule or constitutional provision they believe is being violated. The House must then stop what it's doing to consider it before they can move on to other business. The House considers points of order frequently, especially on controversial bills that some members strongly oppose. When a point of order is raised, members approach the dais and argue their case privately to the parliamentarian. The parliamentarian then makes a ruling and drafts an opinion for the speaker to read into the record. A favorable ruling on a point of order from the parliamentarian can effectively kill a bill's chances of passage, especially late in the legislative session, because the rules require the bill to be returned to committee to fix the alleged problem. Procedurally, this process can take days. Because of this, many backroom deals are made to either save a bill or be used as leverage to force concessions. When those deals are made, those points of order are frequently withdrawn, either to save the body's time or to avoid setting a precedent for future legislatures to use. Points of order can also be made on amendments. When those are sustained, the amendment can no longer be considered by the body. Frequently, members raise points of order on controversial amendments to avoid casting a record vote on the subject at hand. In the Senate, points of order are rarely, if ever, raised. Instead, the Senate parliamentarian's role rests largely on ensuring the order of business is properly followed. When they are raised, the process is virtually identical to the House. In total, the parliamentarian, particularly in the House, can have an enormous impact on the process based on their advice and counsel to the presiding officer, especially during crunch time. 